So a couple students in my sim class have figured out how to make a robot handshake with a turntable. Uh, the wiring is, is pretty simple. We have a turntable with an electric motor and the electric motor is plugged into the motor port on our VEX Cortex. So the VEX Cortex is running the motor. The switch that indicates where the turntable is, that switch is also plugged into the VEX Cortex on digital one. That would be this wire here. The other wiring that we have to do um, is we have a switch and this, this switch right here is going to be used to shut it down, an emergency switch. The e-stop switch is wired into for input D on the SFC32 and the handshaking module which we're using this fancy one that, that I, uh, my students built and the one from Project E, the way the wiring diagram for it looks like that. So we've swapped out that mess for this and that handshake module goes between, we follow those wires up, goes between 15, pin 15 on the USB um, SSC32 to digital 9 on this. Then, if you look at the Robot C program, we'll see that it's really pretty simple. It repeats forever, then there's an until bump, which is actually waiting for the signal from the robot. Then it starts the motor until the touch sensors, the limit switch is hit. And then it stops the motor for the turntable. In the flow arm software, two things that you have to make sure that you do is that you make sure you have to make sure that it turns on um, one of the outputs. And to turn on an output, how do you make it turn on an output, Rory? Um, well, on the last step, we turned on fifth switch 15, which so then sends, then, a, yeah, sends a signal. So then you recorded that yeah. right on that step. Yeah. And then that turns, if I look at the handshake module, can you click that on and off a few times? You'll notice that there's an LED on there, and you can see that it actually sends the signal. So what's it look like in real life? 